Hello, I'm Tom Meeks, and this is 3D Design for Fun and Life, featuring Moment of Inspiration, using the uniquely easy noun and verb method. This session is Palette 3 Verbs, Tab 1, Construct, Row 2. We introduce the last two verbs in Row 2 in this session, Loft and Sweep. The purpose of this session is to give you a quick understanding of the very important palette 3, row 2 verb options in case your brain decides to take off in a fun, creative excursion. While we won't provide all the details about these verbs in this session, always remember that in the upper right corner of the screen, moment of inspiration will always guide you with step-by-step -step directions. The loft verb. The loft verb is equally fun as you will soon see. Loft creates a 3D solid or surface noun as it passes through a series of cross-section profile curves. In our first sample, we will demonstrate using closed curve nouns. When we click on the Loft button, the Loft dialog box immediately pops up and the prompt reads, Select Curves to Loft. Loft always involves more than one curve and the order these curves are selected is very important. Our first series of profiles is actually two sets of 2D nouns. The first set are outer closed curves in the default black style. We will select each of the black nouns in order as we go up. The 3D view can be helpful with selecting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We will continue selecting by clicking on the profiles in the second group. The second set of 2D nouns is an inner series of curves in a red style. We select the red 2D nouns in order as we go back down 1, 2, three, four, five. Clicking the done button reveals the perspective result. Before clicking the done button, again, to finalize the loft, be sure that cap ends is checked to close the bottom of the new 3D solid. Click on done again to finalize. One of the cool things about using the loft verb is that once we're finished making the 3D object and have history enabled, we can adjust the shape by adjusting the 2D curves. Our second example demonstrates using open curves as profiles. Again, when we click on the loft button, the prompt says, select curves to loft. And again, we start at one end of the profile series and select each curve in order. Clicking on done creates a fender. This fender cannot be 3D printed because it only has thin walls, but it's still fun to create. Here is the fender as part of the beginnings of a stylized 1940s truck front end. The hood was also created using loft with just two open curves. The base shape in this sample was created using loft. The more elaborate vase was created by copying twice and twisting each copy in opposite directions. Loft is a wonderful verb that can be used alone or as one step in more complex design workflows. It's just plain fun. But it's more than that. Browsing the Moment of Inspiration forums reveals how the experts use Loft to create amazingly beautiful high-performance automobile designs. The sweet verb. Like Loft, sweet provides endless opportunities for creative excursions. We begin the sweet verb process by clicking on the sweet button. The sweet dialog box pops up and the prompt says, select profiles. For our first example, we will select the circle on the XY plane as our profile to sweep. Click on Done. The prompt changes to select rails. We select the black freeform line and click on Done. The circle is traced along the rail and the dialog box expands. The default setting for twist is freeform and the default for ends is regular. When the ends value is regular, the tracing is the same size along the entire path but we can change that by selecting a scaling rail. We'll click on the Pick Scaling Rail button and select the red freeform line. The scaling rail influences the sweep to form the new result. We can refine that result by unchecking the Maintain Height checkbox. We will cancel the sweep to show another way to create a pointy object. Click on an empty area of the screen to deselect everything. Click on the XY circle and then click on Sweep. 
Select the black rail. We'll leave twist at freeform and select pointy end for the ends option. The object tapers to a sharp thin point. We can modify this new taper by using a scaling rail. But it still comes to a very thin point. Undo this sweep to move to our next example. This time, we will use multiple profiles. Go to front view. The rectangle occupied by moment of inspiration nouns is called a bounding box. The profiles we select must be outside of this area. And we find three closed curves outside the bounding box facing us. We'll select these curves from left to right and click on Sweep. We select the black free form line and click on Done. Then click on Done again to finalize the sweep. Like Loft, Sweep keeps a history of the profiles and rails we use. As we change a profile or rail, the sweep is updated. This is a very powerful feature that allows us to interactively make changes to our design in real time. This means we can continuously refine our design with immediate feedback until it is exactly what we want. Our next example suits a profile around a closed curve to create a frame for a picture. Our final example will demonstrate the flat twist option. We'll click on sweep. Select the profile. Select the rail. It's a mess because the twist value is set to freeform. But watch what happens when we select the flat option for twist. We'll talk about creating screws and bolts in future sessions, but this is the basic method we use. This monster is a great example of the outrageously fun intergalactic creatures made possible by tapered sweeps. This completes our introduction to the verbs in row 2 of pad 3, tab 1. We hope you are enjoying this journey through Moment of Inspiration's wonderful toolset. By this time, we hope it is clear how much can be done in Moment of Inspiration easily and quickly by using powerfully rich verbs to create fun and useful 3D objects from simple 2D nouns. We will complete our introduction to pad 3, tab 1 verbs in the next session.